G'day guys, Ange here again. So as you can see, I've got the Cobra Violence out again. I need to do some repairs on it. So took it out for a quick bash the other week. And as you can see right there, it's uh, broken the chassis once again. So this is the second chassis I've put on this. I've done a little bit of a mod down there to try and patch things up, but um, I think the chassis is time to go. So what I've done, AliExpress carbon fiber chassis, that's gonna be going in. I think this is about oh, $40 plus shipping. I'll put a description below uh, where I got it from. So that's gonna go in today. Obviously it's super solid. I'm not gonna go for metal because a lot of people have said it, metal bends and it's hard to get back. So the carbon will do the job and I'm still gonna be running the uh, front metal plate uh, for the front differential there. So everything's gonna be the same. The drivetrain is gonna be the same, um, but yeah, just gonna get rid of this um, poorly made chassis, as you could say. Um, the design, especially on this part right here, uh, I reckon it's a design fault. It just it is definitely not strong enough. So yeah, we're going to change it for the carbon fiber, get it out of the packet, and uh, yeah, we'll start stripping this one down. So there you go, guys. That is the new chassis right there, just on three millimeters thick, and everything has been pre-drilled, and I'm hoping everything is going to fit. Um, it is an AliExpress. Uh, purchase so I'm hoping everything would just uh, fit nicely everything looks pretty straight like all the holes have been done properly so everything looks like they're in straight lines so yeah hopefully if there's any holes missing I'll uh, I'll just drill them out but uh, yeah there you go that's the chassis Alright, so I've got all the components removed off the chassis. So what I'm going to do while I've got everything off, I'm just going to give everything a clean, make sure it's okay. I'll re-grease the front and rear diffs. I'll get them done. And I'm not sure whether to keep the center diff locked. This one is actually locked. Um, and my other one is around somewhere. But this one is actually locked because... They are poorly made as well, these diffs, and I'm just actually sick of the um, the oil. Uh, they're always leaking over the chassis all the time. These aren't too bad uh, because the oil sort of, it mixes in with the grease on the, um, on the crown wheel there, inside there, so it doesn't make a mess all out in the chassis. But when this thing's spinning, um, all the oil either seeps out through those little O-rings behind, um, behind the bearings there and it just makes an absolute mess. So I can put it back in like the normal one, but uh, we'll see how we go. I'm still debating on that. Um, for me, I'm I'm just a basher. I'm just not, you know, I don't do racing or anything like that. So I don't care about the different, um, well, what the, the differentials are doing, you know, front and rear. So I'm not fussed about that, but uh, we'll see how we go. All right, guys, so I've just Got the two um, chassis clamped together just to see if all the holes do line up. And you know what? It's pretty good. Like, they're pretty accurate. You know, I thought it'd be worse. Something coming from AliExpress. But, um, yeah, looking at all the holes. Look, there's probably one. Oh, they're out a little bit here and there. But I probably just haven't, you know, lined them up properly. I don't know what's going on here. That's for the steering of servo. Ah, oh, they're the um, they're the guide pins for the for the steering servo, so it doesn't move around. But everything else looks pretty much, you know, everything's pretty much exact. Like even the the cutout there, it's all pretty good. So yeah, you can see the difference. Like obviously the chassis plate is just literally flat, um, but obviously the um, original chassis, you can see it's got all the strong backs in it, so it's got all those um, strengthening. Uh, bits in there, which they call them strong backs, I'd say um, But yeah, so I'm hoping the chassis is gonna hold up better than the plastic um, Opposed to you know looking at all those pieces that really keep it together. But yeah, that design fault 
on the front there. That's uh, that's terrible. They should have set that back just a little bit more, made a little bit more plastic on the front there. So yeah, you can see that piece what's broken off there compared to the new one. So I'll put all this together and um, yeah, we'll take for a run and see how we go. That is the finished product, all done. So everything's back on. All the diffs have been um, re-greased and uh, put new diff fluid in there. And I've gone with uh, putting the original um, non-locked up uh, center differential back in there. So that should be right to go. And if it leaks, it leaks. But I know it'll um, it'll give me better traction, traction and stuff. But um, you know, and better turning and stuff like that. But like I said, I just bash these things around. I don't race them or nothing like that. So the, I'm just out there for a little bit of fun. Yeah. So that's all done. That's what it looks like underneath. And I've had to just drill a couple of little extra holes for the braces I've got. And I've still got that on there. Um, Saul gave me that from RC Crazy. Go check out his page. And they're just the other braces he gave me as well. One in the back and one uh, from the back and one in the front. Just to give it a little bit more strength as these things come down and land. Um, they do tend to strip out these top screws uh, in the front and the rear diffs there. So they're a bit of a nightmare, uh, these um, these screw areas here, if you could say, on the diffs. They're very, very weak, like where they put the mounting holes. They're literally really, really close to the edge. And as this thing comes down and pushes down, it just rips those screws out. So, uh, you know, saw gave me an extra set of these um, uh, body braces, if you could say, from the chassis to the to the, the front and rear diffs, which has done a pretty good job of doing them. So um, I appreciate that. And also um, he made these uh, five millimeter aluminium um, shock towers for me, front and rear. So yeah, so there you go. But apart from that, that's all done. I'm just waiting for, oh, that's moved. I've actually just got that siliconed in. I've ran out of double-sided tape to put that in. So I'm just, um, got that in with a little bit of uh, silicon. Still running the WSC8 uh, 120 amp hobby wing speed controller. And that is a 3665, uh, what do we got in there? Let's take this off. Just fans. oh, geez, they're tight. Uh, oh, sorry, 3670, uh, 2650 kV motor. Um, still running the stock, uh, still running the stock um, spur gear, but the pinion, I think, oh, honestly, I can't remember what I put in there for the pinion now. It's been such a long time since I've brought this one out, so I had to wait uh, for that chassis plate, like I said, and that was the original chassis. As you can see, they're a really big weak point. They put those screws uh, too close to the edge. So we'll see how we go. That apart from this original chassis, like having side walls and stuff like that, this one is literally just a flat plate. Uh, it's got no curved edges, nothing. Hence why it's carbon fiber. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting this out. Um, I'll do another video shortly of me uh, taking out for a bash. It's just gone pretty dark outside now, so I won't be able to see nothing. But uh, I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. Any questions or any comments, just leave them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.